Hello everybody! In today's video, we'll explore data recovery tools designed to handle Linux operating systems. We will test the most popular apps and try to assess them objectively, from the viewpoint of user convenience and quality of data recovery. Later on, we can run a more detailed test to compare how certain tools perform in typical scenarios. Leave your comments to let us know which tools you are most interested in. For our testing, we are going to remove files from a disk and then review our top 10 list of apps based on how they manage to recover those files. You will see the top three tools in the final part of the video, so feel free to use the time code if you only want to know about the best apps ever. Let's start with apps which are not actually classified as full-fledged data recovery tools. All of them lack a graphical interface and some of them are very highly specialized. The tenth position on the list is Safe Copy. It's not a classic tool to recover deleted files like photo rack or test disk, but only a means to copy safely all contents from a damaged device. It does not recover specific files directly, but creates a perfectly complete image, which is then handled by with other tools such as Hetman Partition Recovery. A good example of a basic scenario is copying contents of a disk into an image. You can do it with the following command where dev sdc1 is the source device, a hard disk or USB stick, home user disk.img, the directory or the image resulting from the copy operation will be saved. Save copy will come in handy in situations when a disk contains bad sectors, you encounter errors when reading files, your device freezes during copying operations, and so on. The ninth position is occupied by DG Rescue, a console utility designed to recover data from damaged disks or sectors, which runs read operations repeatedly on the lost areas, saves the process map and allows you to continue copying from the same place where it started. Here is an example of a basic command, where dev sdc1 is the source device. Disk.img is the directory where the disk image will be saved. Rescue.log is the log file where the process map is saved and this element is compulsory. After an IMG file is created, you can use other utilities to recover specific files, for example, Hetman Partition Recovery. The eighth position belongs to Extant Delete, a specialized utility meant to recover deleted files from volumes formatted in ext3 or ext4 file systems. It only works with unmounted volumes and lets you recover files which have not been overwritten yet. To recover all deleted files from a certain disk, type this command. If you want to recover a folder, Type Restore Directory and add the path to such folder. If you need to recover a specific file, type Restore File and the path to such file. All recovered files are saved to the folder named Recovered Files in your current directory. The seventh position in of our rating goes to Foremost a free utility for recovering deleted files that uses disk contents analysis for its operations, file carving. It doesn't require any file system to be present and it can even handle damaged partitions. The main command for this tool looks like this, where i dev sdc1 indicates a disk or an image. o path to folder shows where to save the recovered files. This is how results of recovery operations look like. It's a simple tool, but the data recovery results are quite poor. The sixth place is for Scalpel, a free and quick utility which recovers deleted files by analyzing raw data located on a device or in an image file. It is based on the same principles as for most. Before you run the utility, specify the types of files to recover. To do it, open the configuration file, which can be found here. Find the lines containing the required file types. 
they are commented with the hashtag symbol and uncomment them. After that, save the configuration file. To start the recovery process, type the following command, where C is the path to a configuration file. O – where to save the found files. And dev sdb is the device image or file. When Scalpel finishes its work, it will create the structure of the set directory with subdirectories by file type, for example, jpg, pdf, or doc, where all found data will be saved. The fifth and the fourth places have been assigned to classic data recovery tools for Linux, Photorec and TestDisk. Photorec is a free open source utility designed with to recover deleted files from hard disks, USB sticks, memory cards, and disk images. Although it is still a terminal based app, it's got a sort of a menu for users to navigate. The interface is text based but convenient. Select the device to recover data from, select the partition or the entire disk. And the file system. After that, select Free if you want to scan the unallocated space only, or Whole if you want to scan the entire partition. Select the directory where to save the recovered files. Press C to start the process to scan the disk and recover the data. Photorack will create folders with the names uh, recap dir one recap dir 2 where recovered files will be saved. File names will look like f123456789 .jpeg. Oh, that is, the original names will not be restored. The folder structure and file names will not be preserved either. However, the recovery results are much better than all other tools we have mentioned before. TestDisk is a free open source utility designed to do any of the following. Its interface and functionality are similar to those of Photorec, with certain exceptions. To recover data, select a disk from the list and click Proceed. Test disk usually identifies the disk type automatically. In my case, it's an Intel disk (MBR). Select what you want to do. Choose the partition from which some files were deleted, and scan it. After copying, the files will be saved to the selected directory. For our top three list, we have chosen the apps which we believe are full-fledged data recovery utilities for Linux. All of them have a graphical interface, while the list of available functions and the quality of data recovery are as good as they could be. So, I give the third position to R Linux. R Linux is a graphical app by RTools technology which allows users to and handle such formats as ext2, ext3, ext4, UFS, XFS, NTFS, and FAT. Please take note, R Linux does not support such file systems as BetterFS and ZFS. To recover deleted files, run the app and follow these steps. In the main window, select a disk or a partition that you need to recover data from. Hit Scan to have the app analyze the disk structure. When the scan is over, click Show Files. Find the required files or folders, select them and click Recover. This app is good at recovering deleted data, but it has certain file system limitations and its interface is quite cluttered and not too user-friendly. However, it is still more convenient than typing commands in the terminal. For the second best tool, our choice is UFS Explorer. UFS Explorer is a more professional tool for recovering removed files and partitions, damaged file systems, RAID arrays, virtual disks, and disk images. It can handle many file systems, such as this tool supports Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. To recover deleted data, run the app and follow these steps. In the main window, select the disk, partition or image that you need to recover data from. The app will scan the file system structure. Typically, a disk scan takes quite a long time to complete, since there is no option to run a file scan instead. 
In the File System browser window, find the files and folders that have been deleted. Deleted files are often marked with the red cross or placed into the category entitled Deleted Files. Select the required items and click Save – Recover. Choose the directory where to save the recovered data. The app interface is quite convenient, but it can be difficult for novice users to navigate. The range of functions it offers is pretty wide. And finally, the first place we give to Hetman Partition Recovery. This is a powerful data recovery tool for Linux, Windows and macOS. To recover deleted data, here are the steps to take. Install and run Hetman Partition Recovery. You can find the corresponding link in the description below. In the left side of the main window, the app shows the list of all available local disks as well as any physical disks connected to the computer. In the Disks tool, I can see that the required disk has the name SDC1 and has this size. I can also see this disk in the app window. It means I will be recovering lost files from this particular disk. To do it, let's right-click on it and choose Open. For starters, let's try FastScan. As you can see, the app handled this task very quickly. Identified the file system automatically, scanned the disk and found the deleted data. Take note that even the file and folder structure has been preserved. As you can see, all lost files and folders are here. Their contents can be seen in the preview window. To do it, just click on a specific file. For some reason, the contents of video files are not displayed in the preview window. Let's try to restore them to make sure that this recovery tool can handle them properly. To have files of folders recovered, select them. Hit the Recovery button, select the disk and the folder where to save the data. Finish. The file have been preserved. As you can see, the video files are recovered now. They can be played and there is no damage. If your files can't be recovered after a fast scan, you can always bring them back with full analysis. To do it, select Full Analysis and specify a file system for the partitions you'd like to recover your data from. As you can see, the app supports quite a wide range of file systems. As we have demonstrated, Hetman Partition Recovery turns out to be the most user-friendly tool while offering the widest range of features and the highest quality of data recovery. However, and I'd like to emphasize it one more time, this video is meant to be a sort of review to introduce you to the available tools you can choose from when you need to recover data on Linux. The choice is always yours, so feel free to go for the tool or app that seems the best for your case. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments below to ask questions if you have any. Don't forget to subscribe to our social media and use the sponsorship feature on YouTube. This helps us develop and become much better. Thank you for watching and good luck!